Hey. Oh, hey God. How's it going, Jimmy? Hey, let's move to the front of my house to talk. Okay. So, what's up? Nothing much. Hey, I was learning about the sacraments recently. I was wondering if you could help me understand them a bit better. Alright, Jimmy. I'll help you understand the sacraments a bit better. In the sacrament of baptism, a person is cleaned of original sin. You don't have to be a certain age to receive baptism, but you can only receive it once, so it is literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You have to have natural water poured over the head of the person, or have the person be immersed in natural water. And then the priest says, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations, Jimmy. You are now baptized. In confirmation, a person receives an indelible mark that is imprinted on the soul and is united more closely to Christ. When you receive confirmation, the priest positions his hands, anoints you with chrism, and says, Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Sacrament of Reconciliation forgives all sins that you have committed up until that point, including mortal sins. You can receive this sacrament anytime you need it and must receive it at least once a year. Good morning, Father. Ah, and what sins do you carry? Well, I stole a flag, okay? The kid's back was turned, so I took my opportunity and ran over, picked it up, and got it out of the base like I'm supposed to. I managed to capture it back at my base, but when I did, it didn't feel like I thought it should. It felt bad. I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your penance, say three Hail Marys. Thank you, Father. Everyone should know about the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. It's when we receive God as the bread and wine. Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Then we can receive the Eucharist, as long as we are in a state of grace. Anointing of the sick is kind of like a reconciliation, although it's commonly used on dying people or people who are very sick. The priest anoints the sick person with oil and says, Through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Thank you, Father. Gertrude, here I come! <laughs> the sacrament of matrimony, more commonly known as marriage, is the unity of a man and a woman to make a family. Okay, to keep this video in under five minutes, we're gonna have to make this quick. Do you? Yes. Do you? Yes. Okay, good, you're married. Kiss her. If you choose not to get married, there's always holy orders. The sacrament of holy orders is what makes a priest a priest. A bishop must lay his hands on the soon-to-be priest and give him a blessing. Now, go and spread the word of God. Well, Jimmy, those are the sacraments. What are you gonna do with your life? 
Well, God, there is this one girl. Ah, well, good luck with that, Jimmy. All right, thanks, God. Poor kid doesn't stand a chance. 